Hello, and welcome to Real Estate in a Minute. I'm George Mueller with Century 21 SGR. Today's topic, page three of the real estate contract. Foremost, let me review a little bit of this. Page one deals with the particulars of the property, such as size and address and so forth, uh, property tax number, fixtures, what's included. Keep in mind line 30, what's not included. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, Paragraph four here, purchase price, closing credits and earnest money. And then you scroll down to page two, quick recap again, closing, possession, and then financing. As I scroll through page two, keep in mind with financing, there's three different options here. Loan contingency here, cash transaction with no mortgage, and then cash transaction mortgage allowed. This And this takes me to page three. Two paragraphs here that I'm going to highlight, paragraph eight and paragraph nine. Paragraph eight deals with disclosures and nine deals with prorations. In regards to paragraph eight and the disclosures, all of these I've gone in depth more in previous vlogs. Feel free to look at those and or ask me questions if you do have questions with these. Um, bottom line, they ask you to check five boxes. First is the uh, Illinois Residential Real Property Disclosure Form. You're gonna sign this, this is a separate form that you're going to sign as well and goes over issues that the property may have. Uh, lines 112, 113, deal with lead-based paint. Line 12 is the pamphlet. Read this over, uh, educate yourself. 113 deals with the disclosure form. This is something that you as the buyer and the seller need to initial and sign. And that goes with uh, 14 and 15 next, deals with radon testing. Um, 114 is the pamphlet. 115 is the disclosure form. And like the lead-based disclosure form on 113, this you also need to sign and initial for rate on testing. Finally, paragraph nine deals with prorations. Simply, if you're an association with a uh, with an assessment, monthly or yearly, you would fill this out. And also here, closing based on what percentage of uh, property taxes. Put in typically around 105% for this. And that's real estate in a minute. If you have any questions with this or anything else, please feel free to reach out.